Welcome to week five assignment review video. Uh, this week we're focusing on investments, specifically asset allocation. So your assignment this week was really uh, intended to um, measure your understanding of asset classes and asset allocation. So let's take a look at an assignment that received full credit. This is Erica. Good job, Erica. Erica uh, completed this assignment prior to, well, she completed it early in the week and I asked for, I offered extra credit to write out the instructions. So what you're looking at is Erica's actual assignment. That was part of the extra credit was to do the assignment and then also write instructions. But what you're looking at is the actual assignment. So I thought this would be helpful. Um, so I'm just scrolling down to show you uh, if you're wondering what it looks like um, a properly done assignment in week 10, uh, other than the misspelling of the portfolio. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna walk through it quickly um, just to give you a little bit deeper understanding of what you're looking at. Um, but the instructions have been posted in Blackboard. The current instructions uh, are, are there, and I think they're pretty, pretty good. Uh, several students submitted the instructions for, for extra credit. Thank you, this week I was out of town visiting my mom in Michigan, so I appreciate the help and I thought it would be good for some students who've been asking for extra credit, I thought it would be good to post that assignment. So anyway, uh, Erica, this looks great. So you start out with a picture of your retirement analysis and most of you would have had a zero probability of success. So then uh, we go into the asset allocation and we make some changes and I'm going to jump over into the instructions real quick and just show now this now what you're looking at is the instructions. So this is Erica again um, and she was just one of the students that provided good instructions but since I'm showing her actual assignment I figured I'd use her instructions. So part two after you make changes and here Erica points out that um, so you take a snapshot of your retirement analysis generally showing a zero but then I wanted you to go in and make a few corrections so in this case we have an investment that has been put into the profile so a 401k as you can see here uh, that investment would be uh, an account that Erica already had. Now in this case she's got a zero balance so this isn't really going to make any difference. But let's say that this had hundred thousand dollars in this account. This is where we would go and add the asset class which would make it that's how we would change the asset allocation. So if you have a current account in your plan uh, this is where you would make the change to the asset allocation and you would do that in the profile net worth and that is where you would add the account therefore that's where you would make the adjustment. If you don't have an existing account and most of you don't most of you are just building a 401k in the future based on your um, you know the expectation that you're going to get your dream job when you graduate and you will be making X amount of money and saving a percentage of that in your 401k so in that <clears throat> excuse me in that case you would go to your data card for your under savings dashboard savings and that's where you would make sure that you have a contribution that is correct. So in this case, Erica has um, 100 percent match, but she's not contributing anything. So that's a problem. I mean, if she's actually earning an income, we would have a card, a data card showing the income. So let's go over back into Erica's. Uh, so Erica doesn't look like you showed your income card. So let me find one that I think, and here's another assignment. Uh, so this student, this is Connor, I guess. 
Connor shows his 401k a 20% contribution with a match. That's great. And so then in the proposed plan, this is where, uh, let's scroll down. So I'm not seeing the data card that shows if you would click down here, you would be able to change your asset allocation. <laughs> so at any rate, that's what you're you're going to be doing. You're going to be changing, uh, or here is where you would change your asset allocation. And then when you change it, to something other than current allocation, you'll, sh you'll see that it changes the probability of success in most cases. So let me see if I can find an assignment that um, actually did that. So, so here we have a balance in a 401k and it's all in cash. So that didn't actually work. Um, so let's see, this is the drop down that we're looking for. So under your retirement analysis, this is where you're going to change it. And so here it looks like we changed it to conservative and that changed the probability of success. So as you see here, this, this is where we, uh, Ingman did you know, he, he illustrates the retirement analysis, the uh, probability of success before and after the asset allocation change. So here we have the current and here we have the proposed with conservative. So then the instructions are to go and tell me what you learned. So basically that's an overview of the assignment. Uh, and this is getting you very close to um, making sure that your uh, capstone assignment, that you understand what goes into your plan sufficiently to uh, earn all of the points available for your capstone assignment. So I'm looking forward to uh, some of some of you uh, already submitted your assignment and you got a few deductions because you were missing some things. So just go back and uh, make some corrections and update your planning portal and give me some snapshots. So the instructions that are in Blackboard now should be sufficient for you to do that. And again, we will, we're working towards your capstone assignment. So this week, this coming week, we're going to focus on uh, retirement types of accounts. So last week, the week we're in right now actually, the assignment that you're doing right now focuses on investment strategies where you apply what you learned about investment strategies and specifically asset classes. And you go into your plan and you make some changes to your asset allocation so that you can see how that impacts your financial plan. And it has a tremendous impact over time when you have the right asset allocation. So that was this week, last week. This coming week, next week, we're going to focus on um, retirement types of accounts. And I'm going to teach you about three different types of accounts. A taxable account, which means you're being taxed on any gains in that account. So if you want to understand the law of tax advantaged investing this coming week is for you. It's very important. So you're going to understand the three types of accounts. One is a tax advantaged, uh, well two are tax advantaged and one is simply taxable. And I'm going to unpack that for you this coming week. And then you're going to be able to uh, allocate your assets according to different types of accounts. Three types of accounts. One is taxable means you pay taxes on everything you earn in that account. Another one is tax deferred. That's a 401k. That's a tax deferred type of account, which means you get a tax deduction when you put money into that account, but you pay tax when you take the money out. So it's tax deferred. The third type of account I'm going to show you and teach you about is a tax free account or a Roth IRA. The beauty of that account type 
tax-free is that you put your money in. You've already paid tax on the money you put into a Roth IRA. And as it grows, as you have gains, you pay no tax when you take that money out at, at 59 and a half. So as you get older, you get to be my age, you start taking money out of your retirement accounts. And if you have it in the, if you have your money in the right types of accounts, it can make a tremendous difference on the outcome of your plan. So that's what I'm going to teach you this coming week. And then your assignment is going to be to just go in and make those allocations according to the types of accounts. So I know that may seem a little confusing if you've never done this before, but I promise you when you finish this course and when you submit your capstone assignment, you will have demonstrated a pretty high level of knowledge in terms of personal finance and financial planning. And my hope is that you can take that with you. They're very simple strategies uh, that you can do that will make a tremendous difference in your financial life. So thanks for your work this week. I look forward to reviewing your assignments in asset allocation. We're still in investments. Next week we're shifting. This coming week we're shifting. Still in investments, but we're going to really focus on tax-advantaged investment strategies. And that just means we focus focus on the types of accounts, not the types of investments, not the types of asset classes, but the types of accounts. So that's what's coming. So thanks for watching this review video, and I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend.